question um, before, during, and after how to get the most out of your PSYOP conference. So think of the conference as a process, not just an event. Um, it's not just a conference. It's a place where you can go to get more information, um, to do networking, um, to look for your future employer, and also a good place to have fun. So think of it as a process because there's a before, during, and after in terms of how to make the most out of it. So today, what we're going to be doing is talking about how you can get the most from PSYOP. And we broke it out into three parts, the before, during, and after. So this is our agenda for today. We're going to talk a little bit about how you build your toolkit before you get there, how you make a, a strategic plan before you get to the conference. We'll talk about some of the events that will occur during PSYOP and also help you find different sessions to attend. We'll give some coaching tips on how to work the exhibit hall and then give some tips about what to do during the conference and also to follow up after the conference. Okay, um, just to start, as everyone knows that we are Division 14, um, the, uh, our main IO Psychology um, Association, and the IO, um, the PSYOP conference, they usually around 4,000 to 5,000 students, consultants, professors, um, well-known names in psychology. Um, there's people who wrote your textbooks. There's consulting firms selling their services to IO psychologists. And there's recruiting teams um, looking for recent graduates. So when you register, you, you should be able to get a program book. And you'll see that there's more than 700 booths and sponsors. And the cool thing about PSYOP is that there's so many points of contact. There's so many peoples you, people you can meet um, that this is a good way to launch your career and to start net networking. Um, what happens in PSYOP does not stay in PSYOP, so this is not Vegas. Um, it's a place to have a good time, but it's also a place where you can meet people, keep in touch with these people, and um, follow up with these people for future events. And think of PSYOP as your extended family. We all talk about IO as a small family. So this is an um, event you should attend every year, if possible, to come back and see your colleagues and your friends. So before you go to PSYOP, there's a couple of things that you want to prepare in advance. You will definitely want to be carrying a business card. And so what you, might, what you would put on your business card would definitely be your name, what you're studying and where, graduate, graduation date, expected degree. Then you'll also want to put your LinkedIn profile, email, and telephone number. Maybe on the back, you would consider putting on special skills, interests, and an area of expertise. So it's pretty easy to pull together some business cards um, fairly quickly. Another thing that you want to do is make sure that you put together your elevator speech. So you're ready to say, hey, I'm Maria Malater, and I am looking and I'm interested in health and wellness and organizations. Just have a couple of ideas of things that you might want to talk about to start those conversations. You will also want to have a couple of copies of your resume with you. That way, in case you meet an employer that you would like to consider and they say, can we have your resume, you're ready to give that to them. And also consider how you know, you're always making first impressions when you're going to conferences. So you want to dress for success, but you'll also want to have fun. So those are some of the things that you will want to consider before you go to PSYOP. And if you haven't um, got your business card yet, don't panic. You can probably get it at the PSYOP event because it's a major conference center. So um, you may want to check ahead. You can get it before you go or you can get it while you're there but be sure to get um, a student card. They're also pretty easy to make on the computer, too. Right. So here's an overall um, big picture 
of PSYOP. So it's not just conferences. And one of the things you should do before you go is start planning. What do you really want to get out of the PSYOP meeting? Who do you want to meet? What sessions do you want to hear? Um, you know, what events do you want to go to? So you notice that PSYOP is made up of receptions. So for example, CEB is having a reception. They usually serve cocktails and hors d'oeuvres. Um, this is the way some of the companies recruit students is through these receptions. So they pay some big money to have receptions. Um, then there's the great big exhibit hall with more than seven, 700 tables and booths. And the exhibit hall is pretty much of a gold mine for you. Um, we have a, a, a map later of the exhibit hall, but you can look up all of the people who are um, going to be at the exhibit hall. And these are all potential employers that you may want to um, hook up with. There's also lots of free things at the exhibit hall, so bring a bag for jump drives and keychains and all those other kind of good things. Um, as part of PSYOP, you also have the main sessions. So you have keynote sessions and concurrent sessions. Um, there's literally hundreds of different sessions that you could pick from. Um, can you go to that program? Hang on a second. We're going to show you some of the programs. At least I think I <laughs> Just thinking that, <laughs> just what I was thinking, everything was going okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, you can you can find it. Um, let me just speak to it, and then you can go on the website afterwards. I'll just start speaking here we about are. it. Here we um, are. Let's exhibit hot. Right. Which one you want? Ske here's the schedule. Okay. So this is the overall um, conference event schedule. So you can see what's going on every day. Um, special events, who's presenting what, when the sessions are. Um, all the coffee breaks are sponsored by someone. So this is where you want to go to meet people. But this is your overall big picture view of PSYOP. And then you get down to the schedule. There it is. So this is your complete program um, of PSYOP. And you can usually get this in a book format once you go to PSYOP. But it's really important to study this beforehand um, because it shows you every single conference session. It shows you who's presenting. Um, you can look at this by themes. You can look at it by presenters. As you can see, there's a lot of advertisements in this um, in this book, and for many of the sessions, they have email addresses of people who are presenting, where they're working. So you really want to study this book and go to sessions not that, not just ones you're interested in, but ones where you may want to meet certain people. So they have um, a printable program, a searchable program and a mobile planner. And again, just look by topic and look by presenter. Um, you may want to split up some of the sessions with your classmates to gain the most information. And you can always go up to the speaker, up to the speaker afterwards, give him or her your student business card, and ask for a copy of the PowerPoint presentation. One thing I'll add is since they do have an option for a mobile planner, that's really awesome to kind of download the app and then schedule ahead where you want to be. So then you're not flipping through the conference book while you're there. So that's one way to pre-plan because there's so many opportunities and things to see and learn that you want to make sure that you highlight what you really want to see.
it just... It's still pulling up and oh, scrolling. It, it, it's a little <clears throat> slow. It's a little slow. <laughs> As it's... Let's see. It's a bit hot. What the hell? Oh, during the time. <laughs> Sorry for the technical difficulties. There we go. And then what did you do this on? During the conference, how to network. Okay. So during the conference, how to network. So you want to pick out some topics in advance, things that are really of great interest for your career. You'll attend those sessions. When you're in the sessions, it's always good to talk with others right after the session or get in a conversation. What did you think about that? What else do you know about it? Uh, maybe during the session, you'll ask a question of the speaker, or you may go up to them afterwards, after the session, and ask some good questions so you kind of get more details of your interest area. I highly recommend that you eat meals with others that are attending the conference. So those are just kind of naturally happen. Someone will say, hey, we're going to head over here, want to join us, and that expands more of your networking. Once you meet people, it's always good to make sure that you have, uh, you connect to people on LinkedIn right away. So you want to send them, instead of just sending them a general note, just say, hey, it was great to meet you at PSYOP. I'd like to connect to you on LinkedIn. And then at the end of the day, you want to gather your business cards and write notes on them or other notes of people you definitely want to follow up with and then make a plan for the sessions that you want to attend the next day. Just one more thing to note that if you're in a session and you want to meet the presenter, go after, go up afterwards um, or during the session, ask a really good question so they can remember you. Go up to the presenter afterwards, look here, him or her up on LinkedIn, um, introduce yourself, and you can ask for a copy of the slides. <coughs> Excuse me. One thing that I know that I do, too, before I go, is I look at people's LinkedIn profiles beforehand, so then I know a little bit more about them. Okay, the exhibit hall. Um, I think this is the most valuable part of the conference. Um, this is where, you know, companies that provide services to IO psychologists, consulting firms, um, companies who sell books to IO psychologists, all these people are your potential employers here. And in the exhibit hall, they often have a lot of contests. Um, they have a lot of giveaways. You might be able to win a tablet. There's lots of free stuff, so be sure you bring a bag with you um, to get some of these good um, free conference things like keychains and jump drives and notebooks and things like that. And usually the conference is staffed by sales and marketing people. Sometimes they're staffed by consultants. But if you bring up the page on the exhibit hall, Sabrina's going to bring up a page. Um, that shows, if you look at the exhibit hall map ahead of time, you can see, look at all these employers that are going to be here. Um, these are, you know, consulting firms that you may want to work on. And if you click on one of the links, you'll actually see um, a little bit about what they do, you know, and where they're located and, you know, what their primary forms of business are. So this exhibit hall that's your treasure hunting tool. So make sure that you spend plenty of time in the exhibit hall and get to know the exhibitors and find out what it's like working for the company um, and maybe find out who they can contact, who you can contact um, at the company. So it's lots of fun, lots of food, free food and drinks. <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> So, I'm going to make sure we have that last slide. So, after PSYOP, your work isn't done yet. So, what you want to do is people that you didn't exchange or connect to on LinkedIn, you want to make sure you send 
a brief email to reconnect after the conference because what are you what you're doing is you are building your network your IO network across the country you will also want to connect with other people who attended host a meeting and talk to other colleagues about what they got out of the conference and review and share information amongst people maybe there's something neat that you want to follow up for a project that you may want to start after being at the conference you will also never want to throw out the conference book because there's it's always going to be valuable for you so later on down the road when maybe you're putting together an, a certain assessment you'll be able to look back through the conference book and maybe ask some of the experts that presented and reach out to them and you'll also have their email addresses and you'll have um, their names and where they work at so you can identify potential employers this way too. Does anyone have any questions about how to work PSYOP or what to do with PSYOP? Um, this is Rachel. I was just wondering like who from what staff from um, the Chicago School is going to be there? What what? Um, well, I know Dr. Carroll is going to be there. Dr. Newhouse, who teaches in the um, online division for IO, will be there. Some alumni will be there. About, from right. what I understand, eight to ten students will be there. Okay. So this is the event where everyone goes. If you haven't seen Dr. Carroll's announcement, it's on Alumni LinkedIn, and I think Sabrina sent it out as well. Because yep. he hosts a reception. Right. There's actually lots of receptions that are not listed, so you can look around for them. Um, one of the best receptions at PSYOP is hosted by a consulting firm co called Conexa. And they even have a rock and roll band and cocktails. And they use this event to recruit students. And it's usually the best party at PSYOP. Any, any other questions of how to work PSYOP or how to prepare? It's really going to be an amazing experience. Yep. And if you can, try to go to SIAP every year. This is where you can reconnect with your colleagues. A lot of you are going to be graduating. So it's like um, a family reunion. But be sure to follow up, because if you don't follow up, then you've wasted a lot of the valuable opportunity that you've gained while you're there. That's basically a short and sweet definition. What? There's a question? No, she doesn't have any questions at oh. this time. So, well, thank you so much for attending. Mm -hmm. And if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to either of us. And we just hope you have an amazing time and just learn so much at this conference and meet amazing people. And this will re be recorded for future reference or for those people who weren't able to make it. Have fun. Network. <laughs> Have a great experience. So since there aren't any other questions, this will end our session. Thank you, everyone.